Hello. Um, I've decided to make a second video here. I have one other parallel charging video which shows effectively how to charge two packs using this board and a Y adapter on my 208. So, uh, since making that video, there's a lot of people with misconceptions, misunderstandings, and the like about, you know, charging multiple packs at the same time in parallel. And, uh, and for in series for that matter, but we're just going to cover parallel right now. I'm going to do something different. First of all, I'm going to charge three packs together. Okay. Um, the kink involved in this particular plan is these two packs are discharged, and this pack right here is fully charged. And I'm going to show that attaching these packs, these three packs in parallel, first of all, won't hurt anything, and second of all, will still end up with three packs that are fully charged at the end. Uh, it's kind of redundant for this pack, but again, this is just to show there's a lot of people out there who honestly believe that this is going to like blow up the house or something. Anyways, I um, plug my charger in. There's my 208. Um, I just charge this pack at 1C. So, first of all, I'm going to enter monitor mode and show balance, show the battery balances. Okay, so uh, let's plug this battery in and we'll find out that it is at 4.19, 4.18, and 4.19 volts. It is charged. This battery, number two here, is 3.79, 3.79, 3.79, which is about 65 to 70% discharged. What I usually run my uh, T Rex Pro. And this one's at 3.8, 3.79, and 3.8. So, there they are, three packs. So, First of all, I'm going to plug these three packs together right quick and actually show you that nothing happens. All right. To make it simpler, I'm going to start by plugging in these two packs and then I'm going to plug the third one right onto this connector. This is a connector I made myself. Uh, it's simply four Deans with pigtails and a long one. Anyways, works good. So I'm only going to be using three of them, but that makes no difference. All right. So. Let's get ready for the fireworks. In theory, this should pass some current now. I'm not sure how much current because I have no way of measuring it right now, but we're gonna try it anyways. Maybe it'll spark, maybe it won't. There is no spark at all. Are the leads getting warm? No, not at all. None of the leads are getting warm. My balance connector is not getting warm. It's like I didn't do anything different. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and charge them now. Let's go back to there. Plug this into the charger, which the differences in these cells right here have no impact on the charger. This is a, just between these cells right here. A charger will add current, but that's it. It makes no difference. So we plug these three in right here. And I must be very careful I plug these in properly. I'm going to stick them together to make this thing easier. That's how I usually charge them. Be very careful I plug these in the right holes since the other side is actually connected. And, and let me also show you one other thing. Let's go back to monitor mode. Uh, the current voltage that it's showing for the three packs right now is 3.92 volts across the board. Okay, That is effectively the medium voltage between this charge pack and these two discharge packs. Okay, That's what it's come up with. And that's just fine. Okay, so now we're going to uh, charge these. We'll charge them at mm, charge them at 1C, which is 6.6 .6 amps, because there's three 2200 packs. Okay, and off and running. Okay. Okay. I'm back after what the charger says, 48 minutes and 45 seconds. Um, the charger is saying that uh, all three packs are charging and done, charged and done. It says it put 2,710 milliamp hours in, which, my knowledge, I usually I run about 65 to 70 percent of packs. I usually put between 1,300 and 1,500 back into a pack. If we divide that in two, we get 1,350. 13.50.05 actually, 30.55, and so that lines pretty much right up with charging two packs. 
in other words, the third pack didn't affect the milliamp hour at all. Um, anyways, um, I'll just go ahead and show you. All the packs are still connected. They're reading 4.19 volts right now. And that's pretty much all there is to that. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel my charger. Oops. I went backwards through the menu there. And go ahead and go back into the monitor mode. And go back to here, which again says 4.19 volts. I'm going to go ahead and unplug all of them now, just to so I can test their voltage independently, just to make sure that they're all both charged. Okay, the first pack says 4.19, 4.19, 4.19. Okay. And of course, the second and third pack are both going to say it, but I'm just going to prove it. It says 4.19, 4.19, 4.19. And the third pack is 4.19, 4.19, 4.19. Anyways, as you can tell, I have three packs charged. Uh, no damage done to anything because I accidentally placed a fully charged pack with two other packs I was charging. Um, works great charging off all the board and everything. Uh, like always, everything works great. So I hope that helps people understand some of the ins and outs of parallel charging. And until next time, have fun.